Hello and welcome to Apple A Day. In this numbers episode, I'm gonna thoroughly explain autofill. Now, if you've been watching my numbers tutorials and are familiar with autofill, you've probably noticed I've never used it. I've always used copy and paste, and that's a habit that dates back to me learning spreadsheets before I knew autofill existed. Copying and pasting worked, of course, but there's a much easier and faster way, and that's using autofill. And thanks to viewer Thermador the Lobster 4645 for bringing this to my attention in my last video. So if you're new to numbers, you definitely want to know this. Autofill lets you quickly copy any data, formatting, formula, or a fill from one or more cells to adjacent cells simply by dragging. You can also use it for auto-incrementing counters or dates, or even applying a specific sequence pattern. So how do you use it? In this first example, if I select a cell and then hover over the edges or the outside edges of that cell, you can see these yellow circles or handles that appear in the center of each edge. Moving the mouse over the handles, the mouse cursor changes to either up down arrows or left right arrows depending on the edge. Now the cell I have selected is blank and this is not a good example. So I'll go over to the second column here where I have a basic formula that appends the name of the first column to the word hello and then adds an exclamation mark to the end. So in my tutorials, when I was copying a formula like this, I was selecting it, then pressing Command C to copy it, and then select all the cells underneath, and then paste that formula in by pressing Command V. I did it very quickly, but it was still a handful of steps. The better way to do this is simply select the cell containing the formula, and then click on the yellow handle and simply drag it down until you've selected all of the cells that you want this formula copied into. You can also autofill with more than one cell selected. I've already got this group of cells selected. I'll hover over the right edge and drag the yellow handle one column to the right. And the formulas selected are instantly copied to the cells in the adjacent column. But look at this, the word hello is now in there twice. Now why is that? I'll double click on one of the cells and the formula looks exactly the same. As most of you know by now, when copying a formula from one cell to another, cell references are all relative. They move in relation to the new cell. And you can see that when I move from cell to cell using the arrows, the referenced cells move relative to the selected cell. So the reason we have two hellos is because we're appending the contents of the adjacent cell to the word hello. We're adding hello Bob to the word hello. It's also adding an additional exclamation mark. Doing this one more time gives us three hellos. Okay, so moving on to the next example, I'll select the start here cell, and this is just text, it's not a formula. You can perform autofill by only using the keyboard. You don't have to click and drag. If you press command backslash, the selected cell or cells will highlight with a yellow border indicating you're in autofill mode. You can then just use the keyboard arrow keys to expand the autofill area. I can move up or down, left and right. And when you're finished, you can press the command backslash again or just press the return key. You can also autofill with sequential content or patterns. Let's go over this in the next example. So in this table, in the letters column, I'll select the cell containing the letter A and autofill all the way down to the last row. Numbers automatically created a sequence from A to I. Now let's try it with a number. I'll select the cell containing the one in the second column and then autofill to the bottom. So that didn't work. I'll explain the reasons why in a moment. In the next column, I have the number one again, but this time the cell has been formatted as text, whereas in the previous column, it was numeric. I'll select this cell and then autofill to the end, and that worked as expected. So why didn't it work when the cell was formatted as a number? Well, it appears that numbers treats numerical data a bit different with autofill. It expects a second numerical value so it can determine the pattern to use for autofill. In the next column, the number pattern column, I'll select the first two cells. Note that these are indeed numeric and not text. I'll autofill to the end, and that worked. Numbers recognizes that the selected cells have a pattern where they're one digit apart, starting with one and two. So that pattern is repeated. Now you have to make sure that at least two cells are selected in order for the autofill to work and recreate the pattern properly. Moving on to the next column, also titled number pattern, I'll select the three and the six, and then autofill to the end. Numbers recognize the pattern and the cells are filled with three, six, nine, 12, etc. You can do patterns for letters as well. 
In the next column, I'll select the A and C cells and autofill to the end. The letters are filled in two characters apart. We have A, C, E, G, etc. So once again, the pattern was recognized. You can also autofill with a date sequence. I'll select the date. This time I'm going to use the keyboard to perform the autofill. So I'll type in command backslash, and then I'll press the down arrow until I reach the last row and press return when I'm done. And that created an automatic date sequence from July 24th to August 1st. And in the last example, let's do a date pattern. These two dates are a week apart. I'll select them both and autofill once again using the keyboard. I'll press command backslash and then press the down arrow until I reach the last row and press return. And that worked. The date sequence followed the pattern of being seven days apart. By the way, these auto-filled sequences, they're not formulas. The cells are actually populated with the true text, the numbers, or dates. So if I were to change the starting value of three in the number pattern column, it doesn't affect any of the numbers below it. Okay, so that's autofill. I'll be using this in my tutorials going forward rather than copying and pasting. Of course, you still need to use copy and paste if the cells are not adjacent. That's it for today. Please like, subscribe, and comment. My name is John Martins, and I'll see you in the next episode of Apple A Day.